Hello and welcome back to Tips and Glitter Dips. My name is Jen and I'm so excited that you're here. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being part of my YouTube family. I know I've been MIA for the last month and a half. My real world job has been extremely busy and I've just kind of haven't had time to sit down um, and play with nail stuff. Um, I work in a school system so we are getting close to the end of the year but I had some time today and I really wanted to sit down. I was also really excited because Born Pretty sent me a small little package of some of their new products and I'm really excited to share that with you today. I was also looking through my past footage and I did find some footage from a haul that I did way back in Easter so that will be coming up after this video so if you see my nails looking a little eastery that is why um yeah so i'm really excited to be back we're going to get right into the haul and then we're going to create a uh, nail look with some of the products that i received everything used today will be born pretty um but yeah i i'm really happy to partner with them again their products are phenomenal and i hope you enjoy so let's get right into it i got three polishes the first one I received is just another one of their top coat. So this is the super top coat. It's one of my all-time favorites. This is what the bottle looks like. It's 10 mils. So that's what's in this box. I will be just using the one that I've already opened. The next are two of their glitter polishes. So I've already gone ahead and taken the plastic out like off of the boxes everything that born pretty ships always arrives within a week and a half to two weeks at my doorstep and it's always packaged really well with bu bubble wrap so they do a wonderful job making sure that the products make it to you successfully so these are both glitter gel polishes both 10 milliliter bottles we have cg 111 and we have cg 112 so what we're going to do is we will swatch these and as always I do two full coats and a shiny and a matte top coat so you can come along for the swatching. All right, I apologize. I thought I was filming when I was swatching, but I was not. But here are the two colors. So we have this beautiful magenta e pink with the sparkles. That's CG111. There you can see it kind of swatched on the top of the bottle as well. And then CG112 is this beautiful frosty blue glitter. Definitely giving me like frozen vibes. I can see Elsa wearing this on her nails maybe and there it is swatched on the bottle I've set up some new lighting. I'm in a new uh, room filming. So I hope that the lighting is okay It'll be really interesting to see when I edit this video how it looks but again quality was wonderful two coats shiny and matte really really like both of these products all right the final two products that Born Pretty sent me are their new pat paint gels. I saw these and I was really really excited because I thought they would be really kind of cool. They're really easy to use for ombre. They're extremely pigmented so if you're doing painting and fine work they also work really really well for that. So I picked up two of the colors 004 which is a blue and and sorry pp04 which is a blue and pp08 which is a pink so i kind of matched them up so maybe we could use um, the glitter and the pat pink gel in my nail look um yeah so i did go ahead already these were wrapped in plastic and they also came with a aluminum seal but i, I went ahead and unwrapped them and opened them just because it is time consuming i wanted to kind of give you a look so this is one that's been 
stirred and then this is one that hasn't been stirred so just kind of wanted to show that difference so when you unpackage them they may be kind of separated but all it takes is to stir them up really really well they have a really really thick kind of consistency I don't know if you can see that they're definitely still viscous they're still liquid but they have a really nice thick consistency but they will separate so I highly suggest you give it a nice stir um, but yeah, I really, really like the consistency of them and I really, really like both colors. So what I'm going to do for this is I am going to swatch both of them. I'm going to um, kind of use them quite opaquely at the tip and then use a sponge and ombre them up. Um, so you kind of get that faded look just to see how they look. And then I'll do half a nail shiny and half a nail matte and we'll see kind of how they look both ways. But I won't talk through the swatching process you can watch and kind of see. And then we can look at the finished product together. Enjoy. All right, and here we have those two pat paint gels. I can't get over the pigment. You need so little product to get full coverage. Like that was one coat, and I only needed a tiny bit of product. They work really well for ombre. I was really, really impressed. Um, the colors are just beautiful. I really want to pick up the whole collection now because I'm just super impressed with these. They'd be wonderful gels to paint with. And the viscosity is beautiful. They painted really well. And like I said, they ombre really well. So the pink is 08 and the blue is 04. Just stunning colors. So really, really impressed. So just to kind of look at all four of the polishes. Plus, remember I did receive um, one of their super shiny coats. But there's all four of the polishes. Really, really pretty. These go together. This one's a little too dark for that one. It's more of a hot corally pink but stunning colors based on my experience with the ombre look uh, I've been seeing all over TikTok and Instagram that blush nail so the nail that kind of looks like it's blushing it's coming out of Asia the trend and I thought that like this pat paint gel in the pink would be stunning especially with kind of a nude base so because I like I put these nails on not too long ago and I really don't want to take them off because we are midweek so I'd like to keep them on for the rest of the week I thought I'd um we'd create a look like a press on look today I have never done this uh on my channel before but sometimes I do create press ons so I've already got myself set up this is just a, a little plastic holder with magnets and I've already sized my nails so thumb to pinky so we'll do five together now. I'll do the other five off camera and then we will take a look at the finished set all together. I won't be able to have them on my fingers, but at least we'll be able to see what they look like and admire them as a press on set. I was trying to figure out, does it look better with a shiny mat or does it look better with a little piece of uh, towel down? I think it probably looks better with a towel down just so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. A lot of this process, especially the painting of the main colors, will will be done quickly. It'll be sped up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base coat on these gel nails. These are soft gel nail tips, by the way. I really like the length. They're what I'm wearing now. I type a lot, so it's really nice having a length that isn't too long. I typically don't wear super long nails when I'm actively working because I wouldn't get anything done. Um... So anyway, yeah, so I'm going to put a base coat on and then I'm going to use the Born Pretty Polish 
It is one of their Jelly Nude Gels, and it's in BPJN04. It's a really, really pretty nude color. And then we're going to use that pat paint gel to do the blushing but we'll come back and we'll look at it and I'll show you kind of how I do that separate and then we'll see if we want to add any accents or anything at the end but I will put on the base coat and get that all ready I'll throw in a little bit of footage of me painting those base coats with that nudie gel and then we'll come back and we'll add the accents All right, this is two coats of that nude gel, but I think I am gonna do three, just cause they are still a little sheer for me. All right, I'm really liking the color payoff with three coats of that jelly nude. So I'm really happy with how they are looking. Um, what I did is I just took a little bit of the Pat Paint Gel in PP08, so in that really pretty pink color, and I just put it on a disposable palette. And I have a piece of sponge. So I will zoom in for this next little bit. So I thought we could do one of them together. Maybe we'll do the thumb just where it's the biggest. And then I'll do the other four off camera. And then we'll come in um, and we'll check back in before I do the top coats. But uh, yeah, I, I'll throw a picture of what I mean by blushing. But it's basically where you kind of ombre like a pink spot or any color really right in the center of the nail and it kind of looks like the nail is blushing so kind of like when your cheeks blush and I just really really like the aesthetic of it I thought it would be like a super simple nail look that we could do we can use that ombre effect of that pat paint gel like I said here is the swatch of it again I just put it against my hand but it ombre so well with a sponge so I'm really excited to be able to kind of do that nail trend with this product from Born Pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'll move this kind of off to the side and I'll zoom us in. So we have that paint paint gel, pat paint gel on the disposable palette and I just have a sponge, like a cosmetic sponge. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of it, but I'm also just going to dab it so it's not super, I don't want it to be super pigmented because I want it to kind of be that soft blushing. And I'm just going to like kind of make an X in the middle. And then I'm going to take the other end of the sponge to just kind of ombre out that. You don't need much. Oh wow, it's so pretty. And so do you see kind of that blushing effect in the center of the nail? And it's so quick. And the great thing is you can, if you use an area of the sponge that doesn't have any gel on it, it picks up the excess. So you can kind of dust it out and you can also stamp it on and add more. So if you take too much away by accident, it's really easy to add more color. But I'm really liking the way that looks. I think that's super cool. Really like the effect. So what I'm going to do is off camera I will finish the other four and then I will be right back. All right, there is the final effect, all five nails before I cure. But I just wanna show you how little of the product I use. Like I put a tiny little bit there and then I patted it out on a sponge and that's literally all I use to get that effect on five nails. So you need such little product for this effect because it's so highly pigmented. So I am gonna cure this and then um, what you'll see next is me using the Super Top Coat by Born Pretty to make it really, really shiny. And then I also pulled out a 
little bow because they are really simple and straightforward but I thought for our ring finger we could add a little bow accent so I will also use some rhinestone glue and attach that bow kind of to the top of the blushing effect on the ring nail. All right, so here is the final set of my press on nails. I'm really happy with how they turned out. That top coat from Born Pretty is just fantastic. All right, we are finally back. I created the other five nails. So I have my full press on set. I added the little sticky tabs to the inside of all of them. So they're ready to go. I'll just put them in a little baggie so I have them. They're all sized for me. I'm loving the blushing effect with that beautiful nude jelly as the base. And I just really like that bow accent. They were just too simple just as the blushing nails for me. I like to have a little something. Um, but I'm really, really happy. As always, Born Pretty's products, they kick it out of the park for the price. It's phenomenal. Uh, great customer service. Great shipping time and the proof is in the pudding or the nail set we have right here um as always i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm sorry that i've been gone for so long i'm really looking forward to summer break and being able to like pre-film a bunch of videos so that when i'm really busy in the fall we'll be able to continue on and like i said after today's video there will be two more videos coming out they are a haul um that I did back in Easter that I found on my um, camera that I for some reason did not upload. I'm not really sure why. So those are coming your way. If you are not yet subscribed, I would so much appreciate it. When we get to 200, I really, 200 subscribers, I really wanna do another giveaway. And I would love to get there before the end of summer. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fabulous day and that you're safe and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.